Have you ever sat near a bonfire and found yourself staring, really staring, at the flames? At first, you see the usual yellow and orange dancing around, but then there are hints of blue at the base, maybe even a spark of red or white when the fire gets hotter. It's mesmerizing, almost hypnotic, and it raises a surprisingly deep question. Why does fire even have different colors in the first place? It's one of those things we see all the time, but rarely pause long enough to understand. Fireworks explode in brilliant greens and purples, gas stoves burn blue, campfires glow warm orange. But they're all flames, so what's changing? Today, let's take a deep, simple, and fascinating dive into why does fire have different colors? And don't worry, I'll keep this as friendly and human as possible. No chemistry degree required. Let's get into it, right here, on History of Simple Things. Before talking about colors, we need to understand what fire itself is. Fire is a chemical reaction called combustion, which happens when three things come together, fuel, oxygen, and heat. When those elements meet in the right conditions, the atoms and molecules in the fuel break apart, rearrange, and release energy. And that energy shows up as heat and light. And here's the key part. Light has color because of energy. Higher energy light looks bluer, and lower energy light looks redder. So in a way, fire colors are a visual fingerprint of what's happening inside that reaction. Let's start with something simple and universal, temperature. You've probably noticed that a candle flame has a blue base, a yellow middle, and a darker orange top. That's not just random. It's because each part of the flame is at a different temperature. Here's how it breaks down. Red flames are the coolest, around 525 degrees Celsius to 1000 degrees Celsius, about 1000 degrees Fahrenheit to 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. Orange to yellow flames burn hotter, roughly 1,100 degrees Celsius. White flames are even hotter, around 1,400 degrees Celsius. Blue flames are the hottest you'll commonly see, up to 3,000 degrees Celsius and beyond. So when you see a fire shift from orange to bright white or blue, that's the flame telling you, hey, Things are getting hotter down here. That's why a gas stove burns blue. Propane or natural gas burns very efficiently, reaching a high temperature almost instantly. Meanwhile, a campfire has incomplete combustion and lots of tiny particles that glow at lower temperatures, creating that cozy orange and yellow dance. But temperature alone isn't the full story. If it were, all fires would just shift between red, yellow, and blue. Yet fireworks, neon flares, and chemical flames can turn green, purple, or even bright neon pink. To understand those colors, we need to dive into a different reason. Fire changes color, chemistry. Every element on Earth has its own color signature when heated. Scientists call this atomic emission. When atoms get energized by heat, their electrons jump to a higher energy level. When they drop back down, they release light, and that light shows up as a specific color. This is the same principle behind neon lights and even the glowing gases in stars. And in fire, this is why different materials burn with different colors. Here are some real examples. Sodium, found in table salt, bright yellow. Potassium, pale violet. Copper, green or blue-green. Strontium, intense red. Calcium, orange. Lithium, deep crimson red. Barium, green. Magnesium, blinding white. This is why fireworks look like an explosion of rainbow colors. Each burst contains metal salts 
chosen specifically for the color they produce. So if you sprinkle table salt on a candle flame and suddenly the flame flashes yellow, that's sodium atoms releasing their signature color. It's like each element has its own personality and fire simply brings it out. If you've ever noticed that most everyday fires, candles, wood, paper, and cooking flames, burn yellow or orange, there's a reason for that too. And it's not just temperature. The warm colors come from glowing soot particles. When you burn wood or something organic, you get tiny particles of carbon that don't completely burn. These particles get incredibly hot and begin to glow, just like a piece of metal when it heats up. This glowing creates the familiar yellow-orange color. It's the same glow you see in old-school light bulbs where electricity heats a tungsten filament until it glows bright yellow. In other words, a lot of the color in everyday flames doesn't come from atoms releasing energy directly. It comes from burning particles radiating heat like tiny superheated lanterns. Now let's flip the script. Gas stove flames are usually blue, not yellow, and that tells us something important. Blue fire means more oxygen, more complete combustion, higher temperature, fewer glowing particles. Natural gas, propane, or butane burn very efficiently when mixed correctly with oxygen. Because there aren't many unburned carbon particles, you don't get that yellow glow. Instead, the blue color comes directly from the interaction of molecules like CH, methylidine, and other burning radicals. That's why chefs prefer gas stoves. The heat is cleaner, hotter, and easier to control. So the next time you sit beside a campfire, light a candle, or watch fireworks explode across the sky, take a moment to appreciate what's happening. You're not just looking at fire, you're looking at energy made visible. You're seeing atoms release their colors, particles glowing like tiny suns, and temperatures shifting from warm red to intense white. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.